Erich von Manstein, born on November 24, 1887, in Berlin, Germany, was a highly skilled and strategic military commander who played a pivotal role in the German army during World War II. Renowned for his innovative tactics and leadership abilities, Manstein earned a reputation as one of the most brilliant military minds of his time. Manstein's military career began during World War I, where he distinguished himself on the Eastern and Western fronts. However, it was during World War III that he truly rose to prominence. His strategic acumen became evident during the early Blitzkrieg campaigns, where he served as Chief of Staff to Gerd von Rundstedt in the German Army Group South. One of Manstein's most significant contributions to military strategy was his development of the Blitzkrieg tactics that combined rapid infantry movements with air support and armoured divisions. This approach proved highly effective during the invasions of Poland and France, showcasing Manstein's ability to synthesise various military components into a cohesive and devastating force. Manstein's crowning achievement came with his command of the German 11th Army during the invasion of the Crimea in 1941. Against overwhelming odds, he masterfully orchestrated the encirclement and eventual capture of the Soviet stronghold of Sevastopol. His success in the Crimea earned him the admiration of both colleagues and adversaries, solidifying his reputation as a military genius. However, Manstein's career was not without controversy. He was a key figure in the planning and execution of Operation Barbarossa, the invasion of the Soviet Union. His involvement in the Crimean campaign and subsequent successes, including the encirclement at Kharkov in 1943, demonstrated his strategic brilliance. Yet, his clashes with Hitler over military strategy and his opposition to the no-retreat orders strained their relationship. In 1944, Manstein's fortunes took a downturn. Following the failed Operation Citadel, he was dismissed from his command by Hitler. Despite his disagreements with the Nazi leadership, Manstein remained loyal to his military duties and continued to serve until the war's end. After Germany's surrender in 1945, he was arrested by the Allies and later tried at the Nuremberg trials for war crimes. He was found guilty of crimes against peace, war crimes and crimes against humanity and was sentenced to 18 years in prison. However, his sentence was later reduced and he was released in 1953 due to health. Erich von Manstein's legacy remains complex. While he was undoubtedly a brilliant military strategist, his association with the Nazi regime and his role in implementing aggressive war policies have cast a shadow over his career. Nonetheless, his contributions to military tactics and operational art continue to be studied and analysed by military scholars worldwide, making him a figure of historical significance in the annals of warfare.